Hey, Vince, what do you want, man? Uh, what looks good for you, man? Are you still training Danny Aaron? He's gone back to Israel, he's got bad hands. Oh, okay. He's not having surgery. Uh, his manager saw him. Yeah. He may he may have to retire. It's an old injury that keeps reoccurring. Yeah. That's not nice. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. I'm just gonna put my camera down. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready when you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a TV man. Seconds out is here with Don Charles, trainer of Derek Chisora at the. Um, press conference for the Fury showdown. Um, what's just gone on there? There was a brief uh, spat between you and Tyson Fury. It's a team. It's a team thing in the sense that I'm the Chisora, Team Chisora and they've got their own team. And listen, let me explain to uh, people. This is a fight. Two men, two young men, on the 26th of July, they're going to get in the ring, yeah? A ring that's not that big, maximum 20 foot wide, and they're gonna try and do some serious harm to each other on the name of boxing, yeah? So, when the fight is so near and you've got them here, the tensions, there's tensions in the air, that's what you're picking up, yeah? So what's the difference between them sitting here and being in a boxing ring? They know they're gonna be doing this, each other some harm, so hence why, it's, they're not the first and they won't be the last, this is what happens, it's a fight, it's a fight. And what was between you and Tyson just now? It's a listen, like I said, it's a team thing. I'm not going to have him uh, uh, ridiculing my guy. He's, he shows no respect whatsoever. Okay, so as a trainer, I know how much work we put in. I know he he also, he also trains. He's a fighter. We respect all that. He doesn't behave like a gladiator. You know, true gladiators behave differently. The way I know, look. It's not, he's not the first, he won the last, people chucking insults at each other. But there's levels of insults, you understand? Yeah? He has no boundaries, this young man. Yeah? Hence why, I'm an elder, you have to discipline people. Obviously, he has a lot of yes men around him, because this kid needs to be taught lessons, manners. If you have a lot of yes men around you, you feel you can't do any wrong. Hence why he comes out like that in public. He needs to be educated, he needs to be schooled. Yeah? And, Mr. Chisora, my father, would do that on the 26th because this kid needs a beating in, in the name of Tyson Fury because that's the only way he would humble up. My fighter, once upon a time, Chisora, right? Once upon a time, he was similar to this young man, although not to that degree, yeah? He's had some losses in his career and he's humbled himself up and become a better person. And I hope for Tyson Fury that the same will happen for him. So what do you think are going to be the main differences between the first fight which Chisora lost mm. and this one now a lot of listen where do I start there's a hundred and one reasons I'm not gonna I, I hate making excuses mm. except for we're gonna turn up in shape and mentally and physically and this time we'll be victorious and are you gonna come are you preparing specially for this fight I mean are there new tactics that you're gonna be using or well just... you'll see on the 26 make sure you turn in <laughs> Um, and finally, when, uh, Frank's already said if Chisora wins, it's gonna, he's going to be working to get the um, mandatory fight with Vladimir on the 27th. So, how, like, considering what happened before with Vladimir, how desperately does uh, Chisora want to finally get that fight? Well, you know, I wouldn't use the word desperate. You know, we believe we've got what it takes to be to move the object in front of us, which is uh, Mr. Fury. We believe we've got what it takes, um, technically, phys physically, and mentally, um, to, to move him out of our way. Provided that happens, uh, yeah, we, we would like to Vladimir to acknowledge uh, uh, Mr. Chisora because he's already avoided Chisora twice in the past. So, as a, a gentleman, he should oblige to, to, to the disappointments he's, he's uh, caused um, Chisora uh, a few years ago. Finally, both Derek and Tyson have uh, improved drastically since they first fought. What do you think will be uh, Tyson's biggest strengths in this fight? I don't really worry about other people's or put a focus, should I say, on other people's strengths. I know what they are. Yeah, we're more more uh, focused on on our strengths and what we're going to do. Uh, you can spend too long. Um, worrying about their strength. We know what his strengths are and we know his weaknesses. All I can say is that his weaknesses far outweigh his strengths. And what do you think the result will be? 
of course, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stand here and tell you we're going to lose, but I will stand here and tell you categorically, 100%, 130%, 150%, yeah, we're going to have victory on the 26th of July. How do you feel you're going to win? Decision or stoppage? By any means necessary, but I believe um, Tyson will get knocked out. Cheers, thank you very much, Tom. It's a pleasure. Cheers. Cheers, Tom. Thanks, Hi, John. Good afternoon.